Uh, I've been a member here for I think about 42 years now. Um, retired, loving it because I could play more bowls. Um, great club. We're still looking for new members, preferably younger people who have got to introduce themselves to the club. We'll certainly introduce themselves to the, the green of the game. It's a great game. Um, and I think it'd be an enjoyable kind of participation for any young kid to take up rather than maybe stroll in the streets. We had great success um, in the 70s when we won three Scottish titles in the 70s. Um, one particular trophy was the triples, again the triples, whereby we won two years in a row um, with different teams. I think it was the first time it was ever done. It's been, the club's been going now, that's 100 years this year. Um, we've got a good record in tournaments, um, Glasgow tournaments, we've won quite a number particularly the Glasgow Triples, whereby we ended up receiving the, the Triples trophy from the Glasgow Bowling Association because we'd won it that often. Hey, I'm uh, Chalky White. I've been here uh, 54 years and the only thing I've ever won is a raffle. <laughs> well, personally, I've been a member 23 years and in those 23 years I've enjoyed it immensely. We have a social evening on a Saturday night, which is also very good. And since I've been coming, as I say, 23 years, we've never missed a Saturday night, except on holidays. I went to Commonwealth Games on two occasions and um, thoroughly enjoyed it. And on those two, two occasions, I saw the pairs get their gold medal, and then the rink also got gold medal. Phil enjoyed it and I was lucky enough to get their autographs, so I was over the moon with that. <laughs> Very good. My name's David Bennett, I've been a member of the club for some 25 years, um, over two periods when I've lived in the area. Um, what I'm actually doing is going to just explain some of the cups that are here um, and the significance of them. First one in the top, uh, of my, top left of myself is the Ladies' Championship Trophy which was presented by Sally Stewart who, as well as being a member, champion and president of the club, was also president of the Scottish Ladies Bowling Association. The other cup, and as with all clubs, the significant one is winning the championship. It's the Gents' Championship, which is in the middle shelf, immediately over my left shoulder. And that was presented by Tom Dudgeon. Tom Dudgeon was a past president, past champion, and also past Scottish champion in the club. And for years and years was secretary, and therefore played a huge part in this club and how successful it was. I just, this is a, a personal favourite of mine because this is a picture of my father in the top photo having won the Glasgow Championships in 1977 on the left and funnily enough below it in 1991 I did exactly the same thing um, and that's me on the left hand side as well. The other thing I like about this wall actually is the fact that of the five photos that are probably in shot, um, they are all Glasgow Triples winners over the space of 20 years which is quite an achievement. <laughs> And we're joined now by Andy Shea from Foxley Bowling Club. Now, first of all, Andy, tell us a wee bit more about what the club's doing to celebrate its centenary. Well, as you, as you, as you heard in the, the video, we, we are 100 years old this year and we are basically making a year-long party. Well, that sounds all right. That's <laughs> party. <laughs> One definite thing about bowls is it's very sociable. And so every month we have uh, bowling games, which, which then lead into a kind of social night where clubs from all around the area come and join us to, to celebrate the 100 years. Along with that we've had family fun days, barbecues and a birthday weekend which was the 27th to the 29th of June which was our actual birthday. The 27th yeah. was our birthday so the, the celebrations continue for the whole weekend. <laughs> Much like someone's 30th or 40th I suppose. Yeah, Sounds yeah, like yeah. a good one. Fantastic. Now have you seen an increase in people coming to the club since the Commonwealth Games? Obviously it was massively popular. Oh, it, it was and I was lucky enough to, to go to Kelvin Grove and see some of the, the games see as well. And to see gold medals being won which was fantastic. Oh, wow. But uh, it's, it's maybe a bit early to see an uptake in our club from mm -hmm. the games, but what we have saw is, is an interest within our own membership again, who are, are it's like reinvigorated them, and, yeah. and mm -hmm. they are talking about bringing along friends at the weekend to, to tribals, which is a great thing because it's a very inclusive sport from 
Uh, our youngest member is 19 years old, or currently our youngest member is 19 years old, but we've got members in their 90s as well. I love that. And That's the, what's the, so great about it. Uh, absolutely, it, and it's not just that they play with each other, they, play, they compete against each other in a kind of level playing field, because it's not necessarily about fitness, uh, body shape as you can see isn't it? Really <laughs> thing when it comes to balls, uh, it's, it's more a kind of skill, it's more a practice, and so there is, there's, there's, it's been re-energised, if you like, the, the whole yeah. sport because of that was the success. I, as I said, I was really surprised the amount of people, friends that I know about my age, who were determined to get tickets to the Long Bowls. Were you surprised how popular it actually was during the games? It, it was full enough. It was only the only sport I decided to, to try and get tickets for. And I was very lucky to get the, the fours, and I saw Alex Marshall was on STV earlier on tonight. When he, when he won his four school medals, but yes, uh, the tickets were like gold dust because after the, they'd won the fours, the, Scotland then won the singles that night, and you couldn't get a singles ticket for the love of money. And we tried. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you did. Yeah. Now tell us about this weekend's game with Foxley and Cardonald. Is right. that right? So there are only two bowling clubs in the city of Glasgow who celebrate their centenary this year, and it Foxley and Cardonald BC. Uh, so. Glasgow City Council, probably on the back of the Commonwealth Games as well, decided to celebrate the Commonwealth Games and our centenaries by commissioning a trophy. And it'll be played this, this weekend at Cardonal BC, and we have roughly 40 members from each club competing to try and win the trophy. Going to get competitive? It will get competitive. Again, it goes back to the, the great thing about bowls is it's competitive, it's social, and by the end of the night, we'll be all very best of friends. <laughs> that's, that's it. Totally. And Fox will win, but we will be Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. And you're hosting it? No, Cardone will be here. Cardone Cardone Cardone's Cardone's are they and not you? Uh, they have a bigger club, they have two greens, so they can accommodate right. more players because everyone wants to play in this game, so yeah. it's better to go. And it's it. great, a mix of ages as well, isn't well, it's it? Mix of ages and mix of sexes, so it's, it's, it's gents, it's ladies, it's, it's everyone, it's, it's great. That'd be fantastic. And people come and support you? Absolutely, as long as they come along and support the Bushy Tales. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know great. what team we're supporting. Many thanks <laughs> for coming on. Thank you very much.